Hi everyone, Denise here. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and I do sell some things on eBay, but all of these sales were on Poshmark in the past 48 hours. So that would be Sunday and Monday, President's Day. I'm going to start with shoes because those are going into boxes and it's easiest for me to pack those up and then move on to softer goods. The first item I sold was a pair of Fry Regina Ballet flats. I put a little stuffing in the toe of them. These actually, I would call, I called a little bit distressed. Uh, the leather has patinaed on them, but they are in decent shape. They sold for $24 and I was actually happy with that because I did get these at the bins and they are in good condition, but they are also distressed. So they, the leather is aged patina, whatever you want to call it, I was happy to accept the $24 offer on those. It may have been an offer that I sent out actually. I did send out a few offers on some of these items that you're seeing. These just sold this morning. These are bear traps, slide sandals. Now these are not leather, but I did pick them up at the bins. I probably would have passed on them at any other place. I think I just got these uh, a week ago, two weeks ago, so I'm very happy that they sold so quickly. They are in really lovely condition. They're a nine wide, which is a unique size to have wide. Navy blue. I don't think bear traps sell for a very high price point to begin with. They were probably around $30 retail. I had them listed for $20 and the person paid what I had them listed for. The next item I sold were these Jeffrey Campbell. It's hard to see that. These are actually new with tags. They're from Nordstrom Rack. I purchased them at Goodwill. I did not get them at Nordstrom Rack, but they are in like new condition. They don't look like they've ever been worn. They are an interesting size. They're a six and a half. I had these initially in my closet for closer to $70, somewhere around that price point, and they just were not getting any movement. Like, they weren't, they, people were liking them, but they, I just felt like they were not going to sell for that price point. I think I sent out a 30% offer on them. I sold them for $45, which I'm happy with because I did purchase them for $8, but I sold them for $45. So it's a little bit lower than I anticipated for new with tags, Jeffrey Campbell, but due to the size and the style, the bright red, I am happy. And the last pair of shoes that I sold, it's funny because I've recently sold a few pairs of boots, but I feel like I had a few weeks where I wasn't selling any shoes and now I've sold about six or seven pairs in the last 10 days, I would say. The next pair of boots that I sold are a pair of Doc Martens. These are the industrial steel toe boots. They're a little bit more of a Timberland meets a Doc Martin. I did talk about the condition of these boots in the listing. For example, even like the shoelaces have the little tab off the ends of them and they're a little bit frayed. Some of the threads look a little bit loose and I showed a picture of that um, in the posting that the threads were kind of frayed at the top of this boot. Even though 
I show a picture of it, I still like to try to send them looking as best as possible. These even have a bunch of scuffs in the toe. They're going to Montana. So I'm assuming the person who purchased them is not too concerned about them being in pristine condition. They have really great condition on the soles and so there's a lot of life left in these boots and they're already distressed a little bit which I think is perfect for a Doc Martin boot. It's like they don't look brand new. Like the next item that I'm going to ship, but I decided after I was just about to pack it up that I would like to clean this up a little bit first. I already have cleaned it up, but you know, you pull something out of storage that you've had for months and you determine, I think I can make this look a lot nicer when it's received on the other end. And I had to touch up the inside of the cotton twill liner a little bit. And while doing so, I wanted to dry it really quickly. And I discovered that a hair dryer is a really great way to freshen up the inside of a bag and get all the little stray bits and bobs out of there and it really makes it look lovely now and the brand on this bag is called witchery It has two zip compartments and it also has compartments on the inside. It has kind of a sateen inside. Here is the label on it. And I'm just gonna be honest, I I guess I just don't really have an eye for purses or maybe they take a few months to sell, but I just don't have the sell-through rate with purses that I do for the majority of other accessories that I carry. So it kind of makes me steer clear of the purses. I just feel like maybe I don't know what people are looking for or I'm not really sure. I sold that for $25 and I want to say I actually paid 10 for it. So I didn't make very much money on that purse, but I did get it out of my closet. It is a really nice purse and with it being leather, I thought for sure black, really good condition that it would sell right away, but no. <laughs> The next item I sold is this vintage Ecuadorian wool cardigan. So I don't know if any of you remember, but these particular types of wool sweaters were popular in the 90s. They were very much a like hippie look. We would wear them with like big Indian printed floral skirts. So the person who purchased this sweater was actually looking for specifically for Ecuadorian wool. And I want to say this type of wool has a very particular feel to it. So when they asked a question about it, uh, I wasn't surprised because they were very on point. It's a heavy, it's a little bit stiffer than a most normal wools and it doesn't have as much movement but once you wear it over time it kind of really softens and molds to your body. This particular sweater had a label for California in it but it said it was made in Ecuador for the California store shop and it also had really cool seed buttons um, as the buttons, they were kind of like, looks almost like a Brazilian nut half shell as the buttons. So it made it rather unique and it's vintage in really lovely condition. I know I say that about everything, but it really is nice. I'm just shipping this in a medium flat rate box. This will fill out this box. This sweater I re 
received an offer on. I was initially selling it for $48. I received an offer for $38 and I accepted that offer. The buyer paid shipping on this. So I have a funny story about the next item. These are just a pair of Lululemon they're called the Revitalized Crop in Dot Mesh. They have some mesh detailing to them. These were my daughter's. These were one of the first pair of Lulu pants that she owned, but she didn't really wear them as much as I thought she would, which isn't a bad thing. They were still in really great condition for selling them. So the funny story about these pants is that I had them in my closet, I want to say since July, and I reposted them once, and I just reposted them this morning. And by reposting, I mean I go into Poshmark, sorry, black shows every little thing, and I really like them to look nice when they are received on the other end. So if you go into your listing, and a lot of you probably know this, but I'm just going to explain it for the people who may not know this. If you go into your listing and you hit edit and you scroll to the very, very bottom of your listing, it will say copy listing. So if you hit that button for copy listing, It allows you to make a copy of everything and it even copies your photos over, which is nice. It doesn't just copy over the text. So it takes a lot of legwork out of reposting an item. Then once you copy the listing, you can change anything you'd like about the listing. You just have to remember to go back in and delete your original listing because if you don't, you will then have two postings for the same exact item. So anyway, Sorry, I had a family member <laughs> pop in. If you make a copy of a listing and essentially repost it, it sort of creates a new place for your item in the hierarchy of where it appears. For example, this was a Lululemon item. I can only imagine how many thousands of Lululemon items are posted daily. So if you've had a Lululemon item in your closet for a month or two months, or like me, three months, four months, that item is not very likely to appear highly in search results. Even if you have recently reblogged that item. So I recommend for any brands like Lululemon, Free People, Anthropology, if you've had an item that's been sitting in your closet for over 30 days, over 60 days, and you're not getting many likes, you're not getting any traction on it, I would recommend copying the post, reposting it. This is a good example. This item has been in my closet since July, and I just sold it today right after I reposted it. So it takes a little bit of time. I've figured out a system that I like best, but I believe it is worth it to do that because then you appear higher in search results. The next item I'm selling is just a chambray made well. I think it was called the artist. It's kind of a baby doll cropped style chambray shirt. It's, I would say, pretty close to new with tags. I bought this right before things shut down. And so I stopped going into the office and this shirt barely got any wear because it sat in my closet during the pandemic. I want to say I bought it in right at the beginning of 2020 online with Madewell. I maybe had it in my closet for $18. And this weekend I sent out a 30% off offer on it. And I sold it for $12. And the 
person accepted. So. messages to hit home that I've learned about reselling is to be flexible in your thinking. I could have said, oh, I bought this and I'm going to wait for this price. Um, but honestly, I took into consideration what I paid for it how I wanted it to move out of my closet. And so I was flexible. I was flexible in my thinking with this and let go of what I think I should get for it. And the market is kind of driving the value of something and there's just not really an interest in that item. So that's all really I have to say about that. The next item I sold was a Royal Robins. This is a brand that is sold at REI. It's kind of an active wear company for a little bit more of a mature crowd. It has a very interesting, a little bit more of a lace knit on the edges, a cowl neck. It's very soft. And I pick this up. I was, I didn't pay attention to the materials tag, but I was actually surprised to find out that I thought this was gonna be wool or some sort of lamb's wool. And I believe it's actually acrylic and it's a blend. And I was surprised by that. And almost, uh, I could say a little bit disappointed by that. I thought Royal Robins had want to say better quality but we're a little bit more mindful of the quality of materials that they use. I am not anti-acrylic and polyester but I definitely prefer natural fibers so this sold for $19 and another item that I'm just happy to move out of my closet. I had a really huge trip to the bins a week ago Friday and so I'm ready to move some older stock out of my closet and replace it with the new things that I have just purchased. I sold this sweater for $20. Kind of $20 was my big price point this week unless it was a, a more substantial piece like the Doc Martin boots or the Jeffrey Campbell, new with tag booties. Generally sold a bunch of pieces for $20, which to me is great. You know, I definitely prefer that $32 price point or higher, but I will take a $20 sale. I mean, I'm happy with a $12 Madewell sale just to have that item being used again back into rotation. Next item I sold was this cotton and cashmere blend cardigan from J. Jill. And the last item that I sold today was, or this last 48 hours, was this North Face. It's an extra small, it's just a green zip up fleece hoodie. It does have thumb holes. It's lightweight, a nice layer to put underneath a jacket, wear around the house. I know for a fact that I picked this item up at the bins. I would have passed on it. I'm not a huge, I don't normally pick up North Face, but I will buy it at the bins. I'll always buy it at the bins if it's in good condition. And this was in really nice condition. Has some minor pilling to it, but has lots of life left in it, as I always say. We just had a snowstorm here in Colorado and we are in the single temperatures today. I went to the bins as I mentioned a week ago Friday and I've just been processing all of the stuff that I purchased. I initially went through and posted the shoes that I had purchased from the bins, that was one thing I felt like I could conquer right away. And I'm glad I did because I've already sold um, 
to sh actually and these Doc Martens. I've already sold items that have paid for the $200 that I spent that day at the bins, but right now I've been cleaning clothes and I also have some accessories to post. So I'm going to share a haul video and it's going to pick piggyback on some footage I actually took at the bins, which was first for me. I've never filmed at the bins before. It was kind of fun. This item, the North Face hoodie, I believe I took an offer on it. I think I had it listed for 28 and the person offered me 24 or I had it listed for 24 and they offered me 20, something along those lines. I was happy to accept that for it, considering it was from the bins. And I want to say this moved within three weeks. So I love a sale that's two to three weeks. It feels like I'm picking up things that people want and when they sell fast it's sort of that confirmation of okay you're pricing things correctly you're picking up items that people are interested in and I'm able to cycle through things which I really like to do when I see things sitting in my closet I think did I make a mistake buying that so I have to clean that sweater and I have to clean up the black leather bag and I'm gonna get those shipped out I'm also going to film a haul video from the bins. I picked up some really unique items and it's funny I'm actually wearing this sweatshirt. It's TLA. Um, I have some TLA things from Anthropology, and it's got cute like polka dots. It's kind of terry cloth on the inside and super soft. When I picked it up it had some bleach stains on it, one being right here and then one a little bit lower, and it didn't dissuade me from picking it up. I knew I wasn't going to be able to sell it, but I also knew that I would like it just to wear it. It feels like already broken in. It's funny because every time I sit down to make one of these videos, I feel like I'm wearing something that I got at the bins. And when I reflect on all of the items that I've picked up and sold from the bins and the things that I have handpicked for myself, I really love some of the items that are in the my own personal closet that I picked up from the bins. And so I know some people feel weird about the bins and secondhand clothing, but I love it. I've always been a thrifter and the bins just seem to be the best hunt of all. I hope wherever you are, you are staying warm and that you're having a great start to your week. I will be posting this shortly and then also posting a couple of follow-up videos from my experience at the bins. Please be sure to subscribe if you like this video or give it a thumbs up. And thank you for coming back if you've come back. Have a great day.